Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mew Chan. He's chilling. Say hi, Mew. He's a fat boy. Look at this. Ugh. Look at this. Oh, he's so soft. He's so soft and fluffy. Mm. He doesn't like this. Uh, uh, I'm drunk. <laughs> hey buddy. How you doing? So, I want to talk about this phone that I've had. Pretty cool. Uh, this is... This is uh, my Asus Zenfone 6. And it's got a cool trick here. Check this out. Check this out. Nice. The rear camera turns into a selfie camera. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, I haven't used it that much. I've had this phone for a few weeks now. Got it on a two year plan. It records in 4K, 60 frames a second, but there's a five minute time limit on that. And then there's like a, I think there's an unlimited amount of time on the 4K 30 frames a second, maybe unlimited, or maybe it's 10 minutes, or maybe it's unlimited, I don't remember. But for 4K 60 frames a second, which is like really fucking good, especially for a phone, it's got a five minute time limit, which is fine. I mean, how many minutes do you really need? You just make multiple five minute clips and cut them together. So let's stitch them together. Um, the picture quality is really good. I haven't really used a selfie camera that much. Um, do, I, do I really need to be seen in 4K? I look bad enough in 1080. Look at me, I'm disgusting. Uh, so I think the 4K is mostly for like nature videos and like I do like action figure like unboxings. So like you wanna see the detail, the nice color, so you can have good videos and pictures of that. Uh, the battery lasts a long time. The first time I had a charge cycle, like 100%, it lasted like two and a half days. And since then I've been using it more heavily with games and apps and videos and music. And I like to have my screen brightness up. So uh, yeah, nowadays it'll last a full day and then I gotta charge it, which is fine. That's great. My old phone would die pretty quickly. I mean, I had it for like two years on a two-year plan, and eventually it got to the point where the battery got so deteriorated that it like lasts for like 20 minutes. And before that, all phones I ever had, I'd have to constantly have on the charger after a few hours. But this one, I can just like heavily use it. Look at that, I got a cool Dragon Ball GT wallpaper. If you don't like GT, fuck you. GT is better than Super. All right, GT should have been canon. Super is fucking garbage. Anyway, so, yeah, this is a nice phone. This is a really nice phone. It's got 128 gigabytes of internal memory and six gigs of RAM. You can add up to two terabyte micro SD card, but my, there's no such thing as a two terabyte. It's, it's future proofing. Right now there's only a one terabyte. And those are very rare and very expensive. So hopefully I'll get a 400 gigabyte or a 512 gigabyte soon. Uh, but right now the 128 is really help is really good. I am nowhere near running out of space. In fact, let me look at the settings here. Storage memory, out of the 128 gigabytes, only 30 gigabytes are being used. So I still have 98 gigabytes left. 98 gigabytes left. 4K takes up a lot of memory, but I can just, you know, delete the stuff. After I upload clips to YouTube, I can just delete it. Uh, let's look at the battery life. It says 71, 71% battery life. And it says I have a one day and okay, bye bye, asshole. Just like sliced into my stomach there. It's got one day and 21 hours left for 71 percent battery usage. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Um, of course, that's how, that's with the phone being idle for 18 and a half hours, and I've only used the screen for three and a half hours, so. My suggestion is don't turn the screen brightness all the way up and don't have it and have it to where the screen goes to sleep mode after like 30 seconds. That really helps. You don't want to have it like after a minute or five minutes or 10 minutes. I used to do that with my old phone. That's, that's how I would get 
really low, bad battery life. So right now it's saying it's 71%, one, one, almost two days, almost two days of battery life if I keep going at the current usage that I am now. So yeah, that, that is the Zenfone 6. I've been using it to do some like 4K videos for my action figures, for like my anime figures. They're not action figures because you can't move them. They're just like sculptures, like, yeah. So my anime figures, my unboxings, nature videos. I probably won't use 4K for stuff like this. That. It's a very slippery phone. It's very big. It's very big, it's like 6.4, 6.5 inch screen. It's very big, it's very slippery. Which is why I have a little, it came with this. I should probably put that back on. But yeah, the battery life is really good. The storage is really good. It's running on Android 9 currently and they're rolling out in stages in different countries, Android 10, but Japan hasn't gotten it yet. So hopefully I'll get Android 10 for this soon. It's got a little fingerprint reader on the back got a 48 megapixel camera and like a 12 or 13 megapixel wide angle camera 4k shooting and you can flip it up and down that's really fucking cool so I can get I can get 4k that's my Famicom <laughs> I can get 4k 60 frames a second in selfie mode that's crazy absolutely crazy fingerprint reader uh, it doesn't have the fingerprint reader on the screen, where people say that that's better. But I actually like this. I like this. That's cool. And it's not even a fingerprint reader. It's like a, it reads like the veins, like your pulses. It's so weird. That's cool. Yeah, good battery life. It doesn't have an OLED screen. It's an LCD screen. So people say that's outdated, but it's nice for me. Yeah, but it is quite a big fucking phone. But that's how phones are now. Yeah, got a lot of fucking storage though. A lot of fucking storage. Good battery life. That's the big thing. Lots of storage. Good battery life. Uh, this is like five or six hundred dollars. I don't know how much it is in yen. Like sixty something thousand in yen. But I got it on a two year plan. So it's very affordable. Yeah. So that's that's my little mini informal shit review of Zenfone Six. It's probably the best phone I've ever had. I've had quite a bit of phones, and nothing comes close to it. it. It definitely is, and I like how it's got a little hotkey on there. I can control, look at this. I can change the hotkey for different functions. But check this out, look at this. I can, ch I can use this volume rocker to change the angle. Look at this, look at that, that's cool. Which is good for panorama shots. Which you can press a button on the screen to do an automatic panorama make like a big panorama picture look at this it does make a little bit of a gear noise you can hear it so like if you record a video people will be able to hear the gear noise so you got to use that strategically but like check it out if I'm like taking an Instagram picture and I want to set this on a table this can of highball on a table and take an Instagram picture this this is a really tall phone so if I set it down this camera is all the way up here where the can's all the way down here. So I have to put it at an angle, which sucks. Well, now I don't have to do that. I can sit there and look down at it like this and I can, see, I can do this. I can angle it. Look at that. That's cool. That's really cool. I can do that. You could also use it for very creepy, pervy things on a train or a bus too. You can take some upskirt pictures. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like a phone like this in Japan is very bad news for a lot of the perverts on the trains. Uh, yeah. It's a nice phone though. So that's Asus Zenfone 6. Very cool, hopefully I get an Android 10 update soon. Yeah, tell me what phone you're using. I like, I like this new technology of using the flip camera. That's fucking cool, I like that. It's, I know it's gimmicky, but I think it's cool. It's better, uh, it's better than having the fucking punch out or the notch having a camera that takes up part of your display that's stupid look this the whole display is freed up there's no fucking little front-facing camera punched into the thing there's no look at that it's all screen that's nice I mean yeah there's like there's like a little bit of a, a border around here but that's fine 
I like that the camera's right here. That's cool. Hopefully in the future, maybe the next Zen phone, they'll make it to where the, the motor is silent. That'll be and more fast. It's pretty fast. Like, look how, look how, look at this. Here we go. Ready? Eh, it's a little bit slow. Uh, hopefully, but that's new technology. So maybe the next iteration, it'll be a boom, 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 boom. Very fast and very silent. Let's hope so. But Asus Zenfone has been known to have some shitty phones in the past few years. And they've turned it around. They turn around. This is a sleeper hit for 2019. This is a sleeper hit. I've seen the cameras where they have them pop out of the phone. Eh. It's alright. But I really like this. I was going to get the Raj phone, but uh, the front-facing camera wasn't as good. There was no external storage capability, but it did have 512 gigabytes of internal, which I'm wondering if that was the right camera for me. Maybe this wasn't, because I, I think the Raj phone's pretty good, because that's like a, a gaming phone. They do have the Raj phone 2 out now, which is supposed to be better. But maybe, maybe I might check that out eventually. Might get a, maybe the next phone I'll get would be like a super hardcore gaming phone. Extreme storage, extreme RAM. Yeah, that Raj phone too is also made by Asus, same company. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough about this. That's Zenfone 6 by Asus. Very cool. I need to get a proper case for this. This is all I got right now. Thanks for checking out this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. I will see you next time tomorrow. He's Johnny in Japan. He's Johnny in Japan. He's the worst J-Blogger in the world. Crappy food reviews. Barely any views. He's the worst J-Blogger in the world. Yeah.